Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Shirt, President of Globe Series, and I'm thrilled to be joined by Canada's Minister of Energy and Natural Resources, the Honourable Jonathan Wilkinson. We've had the pleasure of collaborating with NRCAN on several Globe Forum sessions, as well as the privilege of Minister Wilkinson's attendance at several Globe events in the past. Minister, I'm honoured for you to be joining us today to discuss what's next for the clean economy in Canada. So to kick us off, as Minister of Energy and Natural Resources, what are some of the key actions and initiatives that you're advancing to accelerate a clean economy in Canada? Well, I mean, we are doing a whole range of different things, but the focus is on looking at areas where Canada has a comparative advantage in the world and putting in place measures to help us to actually create jobs and grow economic opportunity. So hydrogen and biofuels and critical minerals and a whole range of things. It's about um, a thoughtful role for Canada's oil and gas industry as we move through this transition. It is about a whole range of other things in terms of climate adaptation and trying to ensure that we're creating jobs in terms of helping us do the right thing in the environment too. Fantastic, thank you. Just to build on that, Minister, the word energy was explicitly added to your portfolio last year. Why is this important? Well, it's really important because I think it reflects the fact that uh, the conversation around energy is a much broader conversation than perhaps it has been in the past. In the past, when you thought about um, Canada and energy, you thought about oil and gas. Um, increasingly, we think about geothermal, we think about solar, we think about wind, we think about biofuels, we think about hydrogen. Um, we think about a whole, we think about nuclear energy. Um, we think about a whole range of different ways in which for us to actually ad address energy issues and to create energy. Um, and, uh, and that is all within the context of actually addressing the climate challenge. So it is extremely important. It signifies the fact that this broader energy conversation is a critically important one. It is actually not dissimilar to what we did with uh, the Department of the Environment when we added the words climate change. Absolutely. And of course, that broad energy conversation is a big part of what we do at Globe Forum coming up in uh, in just about a month. Um, Globe Forum 2024 is where we'll bring together the leaders and changemakers who are accelerating net positive solutions for the clean economy. Of course, Minister, you've attended Globe events in the past. What do you feel makes Globe different from other events or special? Well, I have, I have the great fortune of actually having a long relationship with Globe. I, I think you know I was a clean tech CEO for a long time and we used to actually um, have booth at, at Globe and used to attend Globe quite a lot. Um, and of course, I've been there many times since I, uh, I decided to, uh, to enter the political realm. Um, I think what makes Globe different is that it actually attracts people from across a whole range of different um, um, occupations. So you get Significant representation from governments, yes. Uh, you get significant representation from businesses and particularly emerging, innovative businesses. And you have the environmental community that actually attends. And there's an enormous opportunity for cross-fertilization. Um, there's an enormous opportunity to actually think about um, how we are creative in advancing the, the green economy. And, uh, and I've never, never attended a Globe event where I walked away thinking I had wasted my time. Well, we appreciate that. And Minister, of course, we're disappointed you can't make it this year, but we understand there's a pretty important global event taking place that you'll need to attend instead. Could you tell us a bit more about that and why it's so important that Canada be represented there? Yeah, I am very sad that I can't be at Globe this year, but uh, the International Energy Agency uh, is doing its biannual meeting in Paris. Um, and uh, I, as Canada's representative, am the vice chair of the International Energy Agency this year. Um, the IEA is a critically important uh, organization in the context of the discussion around the energy transition. It is how we actually think about and coordinate a lot of the, the work that we are doing um, to ensure that the world is moving forward in a manner that is consistent with fighting climate change, but also uh, addressing energy security issues. Um, and so it's important that I be there. Uh, certainly I get a chance when I'm there to talk to my German colleagues about hydrogen and my uh, French colleagues about critical minerals and nuclear energy and a range of other things. So um, I, uh, I would really like to be a Globe, but um, it, is, it is quite important that Canada is represented and especially right now. Absolutely, Minister, and we're, we're, we're thrilled that you'll be there representing Canada and having those critically important conversations. Thank you so much for joining us today and for everything you're doing to drive action and impact for a regenerative, resilient, net zero future in Canada. To our GLOBE community, we'll, we hope you'll join us to continue driving impact at GLOBE Forum 2024, February 13th to 15th in Vancouver. Of course, you can register at globeseries.com forward slash forum. Minister Wilkinson, thank you so much for joining us.